A report out this month shows Indiana has reported more fire deaths this year, so far this year in 2013, than all of 2012. And as far as fires, Terre Haute leads the way when it comes to them being set suspiciously. News 10's Patsy Kelly spent today finding out what's behind the flames. And in tonight's top story, she learned a smoky judgment can be a leading cause. Patsy? Well, for Terre Haute's size, it's among the top in arson rates. 40% of the fires the Terre Haute Fire Department works are arson cases. It's consistently higher than any other city's its size. But you might be surprised why. Terre Haute has almost twice the number of arsons as any other city per capita, and it's generally smaller in population. There's a myriad of reasons why. Many people start fires to hide crimes, others for financial gain, such as collecting insurance or seeking revenge, or most prevalent. Terre Haute is certainly an economically depressed area, and uh, I think there's a lot of, of emotional frustration a sense of frustration and the way that they lash out is by property crimes, by, by damaging property. But before you go running out to add that extra fire insurance to your homeowner's policy, this doesn't necessarily mean Terre Haute has more fire bugs than other cities. It means our system works. Terre Haute has an arson task force. When you have more of an effort focused on those types of crimes, you're going to see an increase in statistics, not because there's more criminal activity, but just because there are people focused on solving those crimes. And anytime you can locate a fire, um, the, the quicker you can locate a fire, the quicker you can extinguish a fire, the quicker you can get an investigator in to determine the origin of the fire and the cause of the fire, then that, that all works in a progression type deal. Not all cities can afford this kind of task force. I know some cities, because of budgetary constraints and stuff like that, you know, their, their police department are, are, are handling arson because it is a crime, and so therefore they may not get, you know, out to the scene until the next day. Determining whether a fire is an arson is a science, so Loudermilk and Prowse say they work together to put out a trend heating up. In Terre Haute, Patsy Kelly, News 10. Now officials say they work on preventing higher arson rates every day. One of their biggest goals is to get juveniles rehabilitated at a young age so they don't continue in this life of crime.